it's Robin and welcome back to Happy at Home. Today I have a fun craft project to share with you. So I was recently at Target and I was going through their dollar spot section looking at all the fun fall themed items that they had and then I went through the kid aisle like the kid craft aisle and I saw these ceramic pumpkins. They were three dollars and they had two versions of them. So they have one that has a jack-o-lantern face on it which I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It might be getting washed out. But then they had another one that was like shorter and like more around. So I picked up two of those and I picked up two of these. So I thought these pumpkins would be a really fun craft project for myself because I love white pumpkins and it's very hard to find white pumpkins in my in my area. I don't they hardly grow them or something. So I always have to go with a faux pumpkin instead which sometimes they look nice and then sometimes they don't look so nice so I thought it would be a fun thing to try to make a white pumpkin that looks nice and is beautiful that I can use year after year in my decor so that is what I'm going to share with you today so let's go ahead and get started to paint my pumpkins I pick three different shades of paint a creamy white a light brown and a pale gray color I mix the fourth color by combining the white and the brown to make a tan For the first step, I took a small pencil brush and using the brown paint, I enhanced the crevices of the pumpkin. This will help give the finished pumpkin a little more definition and as you can see, I didn't worry about being too precise. Using a flat brush and my white paint, I simply painted the whole pumpkin. When painting over the previous brown paint, I was careful not to add too much over the top, applying only what was needed to blend the color out. Once the white paint had had time to dry, my pumpkin was looking a little like this. Next, to add a little more dimension to the pumpkin, I took a fan brush along with the tan colored paint and ever so slightly, using only a small amount of paint at a time, I brushed it on the pumpkin. some areas I apply the paint a little too thickly, but no worries, I simply paint it over with a light coat of the base color. And then after it had dried slightly, I brushed on some more of the brown paint. The final color I added was the light gray. Just like the previous brown color, I lightly applied with a fan brush. After the paint had dried, it now looks like this. I like how the fan brush gives the pumpkin a subtle, textured look. To paint the stem, I chose a metallic silver paint and simply applied it using a flat brush. To finish and protect the paint on the pumpkin, I decided to use a protective coat in a satin finish to give the pumpkin a bit of a gleam. It 
And here's what the finished pumpkin looks like. I think it turned out very nice. The perfect pumpkins to add to my fall decor. So there you go, these are my little pumpkins, which are all painted up, and I love that they have the little silver stem on them, and I think they look really cute, and I think they turned out pretty good. They kind of got like a little rustic um, vibe to them, and yeah, and they're not stark white, but they're white, so I'm very happy and pleased with how these turned out. So, hope you enjoyed this video today. Thanks so very much for stopping by to check it out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And of course, if you have not yet already, please subscribe so you can see all of my future craft projects and DIYs. Thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Bye now.